Greetings, people of God. I'm Apostle Royal, and I have a message to the church, um, school and church, the synagogue church of all nations of late prophet T.B. Joshua. So this is a warning, a warning unto Evelyn Joshua and the members of the Skowan. Please listen carefully. I am not here to judge anybody. I am not here to condemn anybody. I am here because the Lord sent me. And I'm going to explain why. There is an urgency to release this word because if not, there is something going to take place and you people have been not warned, which I don't believe that you have been warned because you have been warned many times, but you have not stop doing what you're doing. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Lord spoke to me at the end of May in the beginning, I think in the be beginning of June. Um, again, he gave me a warning for you people. The warning is this. If you don't stop worshiping the spirit of TB Joshua and having continual fellowship with his spirit and you are worshiping him, the Lord said, I should tell you that the synagogue church is going to collapse again. Yes, you heard me clearly. The synagogue church, he said, is going to collapse again. And this time around, he said, is going to be worse than the first time. So meaning, I don't know nothing about the first collapsing or I don't know TB Joshua or any one of them, but... That means that the hand of the Lord himself was, this is what he's telling me uh, by, by the words of the Lord. There is, there is the understanding that the Lord himself was involved in this. So meaning it was not an accident or a coincidence or uh, a natural disaster or, um, and yeah, uh, taking place, but, but it was the hand of the Lord that has permitted it to collapse. So it was a warning. But since you people have refused to listen, you refused to um, change, the worst came to pass. For you people, the worst, the Lord took T.B. Joshua. He took him. So I released a message shortly after his death to give that warning um, that anyone who breaks the covenant, covenant of the Lord is going to be a dead body like T.B. Joshua. That tells me again that the Lord himself is involved or was involved in his death. And again, he is here right now involved again by warning you. So Evelyn Joshua, if you are hearing this, and now I'm going to give you a lot of um, examples and the occasions that took place that um the lord is very much angry is very much um his anger is kindled concerning you people worshiping and having fellowship with the spirit of tb joshua so that that's necromancy it started already with the time uh, by the time tb joshua um died by the words of um, Jeremiah Omoto Fufein, by saying that um, his spirit is in the church, is around. So he said it clearly in that sermon um, that he is not dead. This was number one. Secondly, there was strife among you people and clashes on where to bury T.B. Joshua, you wanted to bury him in the church, which is madness. So I don't know if you have done it. All I know is that you people have buried him around the church somewhere in that compound, which is also not, um, the Lord is not pleased with because this is um, worshiping of, of, of a dead body. So um, from there, the Lord um, took me and showed me a lot of things that you people are doing and that the spirit of T.B. Joshua is indeed, is indeed alive. So it was never laid to rest. So 
the other thing that took place was also a warning. Um, I saw it just on sh social media that um, it, I don't know the the grave or something where he was uh, or is buried took some fire or what I don't know, but you took it as a sign that he is uh, instead of a warning that he is um, you know. Uh, very holy and a saint and you people never stopped worshiping him you never stopped laying him to rest and now i'm coming to this what took place um concerning concerning the spirit of tb joshua so um i'm gonna share at the end I'm going to play a record that a message that I never released. The Lord gave me this in April 2022 that I should share where the Lord showed me that um, the Skoan members and the church itself and, and the wife, they haven't fellowship with the spirit of TB Joshua and things are taking place indeed by that spirit when it comes to um, miracles, signs and wonders. So, what happened right now that made me to come on, which is really very, very heavy on me. And um, many, many times now for days, I tried, you know, to come up again and, and try again. I don't know how many times I stopped counting, trying to record this message to release it. But I was very much really, really fought and blocked not to release this message. So the reason why I am here, because I promised the Lord and I'm going to do it, not only that I promised the Lord, but the Lord commanded me to do something which I thought this cannot be. Um, so I ignored it. One or two weeks back, the Lord said to me to command that spirit of TB Joshua to go back to the grave. And I thought, dear Lord, this cannot be my Lord. And I just ignored it. Just now, when I went into prayer, asking the Lord which message he want me to release right now. And while I was praying, he showed me the pictures of TB Joshua. And as a prophet of God, you have just a deep knowing without the Lord speaking or any other you know, um, very audible or visible thing taking place. You just know it drops in you. So I saw that the Lord want me. Now is really the time to um, bring this message out. What took place, it really shocked me. During prayers, the spirit of TB Joshua came to me and I heard him. Not that I saw him. I saw the vision. Yes, his pictures. But I heard him saying to me that yes he has no rest but he likes it and please i should not send him back i so i should not send him back i just ignored him because i don't speak unto the death spirit so i don't speak to them i don't have communication with the spirit of dead persons um except the saints when the lord sent them my way and i will be um, informed by the Holy Spirit and I will get confirmations and all of that. So this is different. But I'm talking here about someone who has been taken by the Lord because um, I am not, like I said, here to judge because he broke the covenant of the Lord in which way only God knows it. But I will say by that what took place, um, a lot of evidences of witchcraft and bewitchment and sorcery. However, like I said, I am not here to judge. It's in the hands of the Lord. And I am not speaking any evil about a dead man. No, I am just giving a warning and an understanding with grace and wisdom for you to understand why the Lord is wrought and is giving you this warning, Evelyn Joshua, to stop doing what you're doing, stop communicating, stop um, fellowshipping and worshipping still your dead husband. Now, while I was praying, I heard those uh, words of 
late TB Joshua saying to me, I should not send him back. He likes it to be around his family and still doing what, um, you know, in the church, those um, things he likes praying. And so, so I just, it, it, it just, it just dropped into my spirit. And like I said, I just ignored it. And I thought, what is this again, dear Lord? I'm, I'm not going into this, right? I'm not going to do it. But I had not the power to stop it and block it because something took place. And suddenly my spirit began to speak to that spirit of TB Joshua and commanding him back into his grave and to remain there. And I was really just watching how my spirit was communicating and hearing um, how my spirit was communicating and commanding that spirit of death to go back and remain there until the day of judgment. So these were the exact words of my spirit. So for those who are in deeper realms, those who are deeper with the Lord, they will understand what I'm saying. So there is a separation between your own soulish realm, flesh, and your own spirit. And, and I just heard my spirit um, commanding him to go back into his grave. And I do believe from now on in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I heard it is done. I thank the Lord that I have nothing to do with this. I am not involved with this. So people of God, I just praise the Lord. And I am just thanking him that is not done by might, by power, by my flesh, by Apostle Royal, but it is done by the spirit of the Lord. So the Lord took that my spirit to do whatever he wanted to do. So I thank the Lord from now on. I pray and I know that this kind of necromancy, this kind of demonic fellowship will stop because there is no longer attachment communication. So um, this is why I came on here, even though many times blocked. However, in the essence, this is the message I repeat it again. Repent, Evelyn Joshua, because your madness has gone too far for you to celebrate a dead person posthumous, posthumous. After death, you celebrated his 60th birthday, and um, this is not right. You, you, the, you never detached from all um, the things that he has done or his spirit and and each and every member, especially those um, sons and daughters of T.B. Joshua, um, they are still worshiping him. They are still uh, seeking for connection, for counsel, in fact. And he has been visited or, or, or those sons and daughters of his they have been visited and, and it's not a secret. You can go and watch it openly where um, I would try to put a link down where they are sharing their experiences um, concerning um, an encounter with TB Joshua and how he is still involved in church and praying for the church and doing miracles and so on and so forth. So I got that um, revelation from the, the, the word of knowledge uh, of from the Lord last year. I will show you that I have been never been able to play it to publish it. I recorded it, but I was so far, I forgot about it. I just, you know, um, I was not, just not able to record it, period. Uh, uh, sorry, to publish it. I recorded it. So this is what the video I'm going to share with you right now from my uh, computer. I'm just going to uh, turn the camera off my phone and I'm just going to show you and going to play it for you people. These are the exact things the Lord has revealed to me that I was really very much uh, upset concerning a misinterpretation of a dream of one of his spiritual daughters. So I'm going to try to put the link as well or try to share it somewhere in the info box that you please go and watch it. So this is very, 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 very important, this message to repent, to stop it, because you people have never stopped worshiping him. And um, this is the warning of the Lord. If you don't stop Evelyn Joshua, if you don't repent um, for doing 
those things, especially now on his birthday, for releasing those words that he's in your midst and he's still alive and you still have him and you still do this and that. Listen, this is called necromancy. You better repent. You better repent with all your family because worse is going to befall you. So the church is going to collapse. And the Lord said this time around is going to be worse than the first time. So this is the word of the Lord. I'm not going to add. I'm not going to remove. And now I'm going to play for you the video I have been recording or recorded in April uh, 2022. But unfortunately, like I said, never been able to release it. So I'm just going to play a short something like 10 minutes for you to understand what the Lord gave me at that time. So let me just try and then I'm come come back. Wait, I have to turn my camera. So for you to see, this is my computer. I don't know if you can see the dates, maybe not. But anyway, um, I have never published this. So please listen. This was the first encounter I had with Jeremiah Omoto last year after the death of TV Joshua. Now, then he said he's not dead, he's in our midst, he's alive. And just yesterday, the Lord told me, and I saw those things that are happening in synagogue church, little by little, people becoming mad, crazy, bewitched, wanting when they when the strife and discussion began and the argument of bearing TB Joshua in the church. Just imagine to bury him in the church or under the foundation of the church or whatever. This alone is witchcraft. This, I don't know if they have done it. I think, yes, they did it. This man is buried there. And this is why his spirit is with them in the midst. And this is called necromancy. So how do you know all this, Apostle? What are you talking about? I'm talking about that the Lord showed to me. When he said that, I was still doubting. He said they are fellowshipping with his spirit. And throughout the days, I went through certain messages popping up in my feed without me knowing those people who are connected to him. Because my spirit never agreed with TB Joshua. Never. Not for once. That he is of, of God. So, what happened was then, I saw one message after another. God was confirming to me, look my daughter. Look what they are doing. They are worshipping him. They are fellowshipping with him. Those evangelists, those, those pastors of his. They are going to the mountain and they have communion with him. And I saw a, something that made me just, oh my God, I, I, I was, calm down, um, saying, or, or rather his wife, you know, um, of TB Joshua, of taking over and all of this. If you go back to synagogue church or you look up for them, Skoan and whatever the names are, they are still having communion with TB Joshua. Those pictures, those channels, those um, of him are not removed. So the wife that has taken over is nowhere to be seen on that profile. It's still TB Joshua. They are still um, posting as if he is alive. And that's madness. That's necromancy. That's bewitchment. And when the Lord spoke these words to me yesterday and I saw it, even his son, spiritual sons, the kind of spirit of Joshua is upon them. TB Joshua is upon them. The way they speak, the way they pray, the way they mimic, it is a horrible thing. And immediately, short while after he ministered to me that they are fellowshipping with TB Joshua, he showed me 
another video which is a confirmation but unfortunately this i'm so sorry to say that this foolish girl who has not the spirit of the lord but the spirit of divination went ahead to explain her dream that she saw concerning tb joshua so don't be carried away by dreams and visions that are of the devil you need to judge righteously by the spirit of god and not by your spirit of divination fortune tell us soothsayers she interpreted the whole dream according to the spirit of divination that was fitting exactly into worshiping that man So what was she talking about? She was talking about that she saw that in that dream, TB Joshua, a life, and now here comes the confirmation. I'm going to do my best to write at least the title of that message on YouTube so that you please go and watch it and see what I'm talking about. She was talking about that she saw him in her dream in, in that synagogue church. He entered the synagogue church in a white garment, sitting there and praying for the church, which I absolutely don't doubt because he's in the midst as a demonic spirit because they have called for him. They never separated from him. They are so attached to him. They are worshiping him. So his spirit is there. She went on now to interpret the dream. He, she said he saw, she saw him praying and calling forth for a woman and prophesying over her. Look at it which is true and then this girl went on to say that she saw a hand a huge hand coming from heaven which was following or laid upon his wife and from there great miracles happened Powerful miracles. People got healed. People got delivered and vomited and fall and so on and so forth. So this, this girl began completely to be misled and interpret the dream she had as divine. Why the Lord tried to explain what is going on in the synagogue church and she went on to explain that she saw on the road i think this was another another dream interpretation interpretation of her a second a second um whatever or is it still there i don't know she explained um two roads one road was left one right and jesus was sitting on the right and she saw a huge um, um, a crowd in line. She too was in line with T.B. Joshua and T.B. Joshua. The way she explained this and expressed it, I knew this, this girl is not understanding what she's saying, what she's interpreting. With this evangelist, she said he stood while they were going before the Lord. He chained them. He chained them. There was a chain. He holds them so tied, she said. His evangelist, he didn't want to let them go. They were following him so tied in chains. Look at it. But she said, Suddenly those chains broke off and his evangelist left him. It were only true who have been faithful to him and they followed him. They stood before Jesus and Jesus told them, go to my right. And those evangelists who went to the death, oh, there was a huge dark person taking them to the darkness. Look at the madness. Your common sense should tell you you don't shame people. Your common sense, a 
So this is what is happening. Necromancy. Madness! And people are following them. The crime. Now, people of God. So this was the message I have released. Like I said, um, not released, recorded, but never have been able to release it. So you have heard it. So the reason why I have shown you only in the midst, the middle, ten, ten, something like 10 minutes is because um, I released another message in the beginning at, at the end. So. so this message is very, very important for you to understand, please, what is going on in the synagogue church and repent. Evelyn Joshua, members of the Skowan Church, I, I plead with you so that nothing evil will befall all of you. And concerning this interpretation, I just want to add something to it. Uh, the, that young girl misinterpreted and said, you know, concerning chaining the evangelist, which is true, but those chains broke off. Now, uh, the interpretation is this. If you have, have heard and observed and heard about the testimonies about the followers, or rather the disciples, the, the, the wise man of late T.B. Joshua, Indeed, they are free now. They have been indeed chained. They are free now. Um, many of them got married. They got married. They got their own ministries and they are happy now. So, and the Lord told me also that there's going to be a, a great clash coming between um, the, the wise man and, and the wife and the church itself because of of what took place. But I don't want to go into this. I want to just keep it like that you have heard it you can see the difference between me now and the message i have just played for you it was in 2022 of april the lord told me that and now uh, in the beginning of the month of june he told me it's time i should get up i should release that warning that you know the church is gonna collapse and this time, worse than the first time, so repent if you don't stop um, worshipping the dead man. And yeah, this unring God by your uh, witchcraft, necromancy. And what you have done concerning his birthday, this is not right. It has nothing to do with honor. Honor is good. Memory is good. But um, you have just crossed the border with this kind of party, not to talk of your association and invitations um, of other religions. So um, my prayer is for Skowan. May God show you mercy. And may this message reach the people that it is for. So repent, Skowan. Repent, Evelyn Joshua, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Share, please. Share, 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 so that it will reach the right persons. God bless.